My name is Jamie Loftus and I'm on Upgraded. But today, I want to talk about how much the year 2017 was a fucking terrible nightmare for each and every one of us. If you had a good year in 2017, go drown yourself in the river. All right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're hanging out at my house right now. I'm alone. Uh, my parents are gone because I, I, uh, I chopped them up into little bits and I cooked them. Uh, so we're alone right now. It's just the two of us. So uh, what we're going to do today is I would like to eat a photograph of your face with your consent, of course. So to in order to submit your face to me and also my mouth, you're going to want to comment eat me on this exact broadcast and I'll eat your profile picture if that's all right. I've got a number of sauces here, uh, truly just uh, delicious for human flesh and also for your hot, hot picks. We've got sriracha, we've got some creamies, we've got, we've got ranch and we've got mayonnaise, we've got syrup, we've got Caesar, we've got the things you put the shrimps in, we got that guy. Uh, we've got, this, this might just be congealed cum. Uh, let's get started. Uh oh! All right, here's our first friend. This is Skylar. Impossible to know uh, which one is Skylar. Let's just assume that she's full of it, and so she's putting herself in the middle. So let's just take a bite out of this. That one's for you, Skylar. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mustard to that one. You are absolutely delicious. Who's next? All right, we've got Frank. Frank's a bit of a sensitive guy. He's got a cat. This is how he reels them in with his little animal friends. We're gonna just uh, dip Frank in, a, in ranch. That's fine. Let's get Frank's head covered in ranch. Mm, nice. And we're just gonna. Bye, Frank. Stop showing off with your cat. All right, who's on deck? We've got Darby. Look, Darby went to a prom this year. Someone's having a good 2017. Goodbye, Darby. That's what you got for being happy, Darby. Sorry. All right, we've got Sean next. Sean's a little bit of an artist type. He's rocking the B and dub. He's doing a little this. Maybe he's a SoCal boy. We don't know, we don't care. Dipping him in some A1 steak sauce. Happy holiday, Sean. You taste like ass. All right, we've got Jade up next. I'm not gonna bully Jade because she looks like she might be nine years old. I'm not a nine-year-old bully, I'm a parent bully. I ate my parents and now I'll eat Jade too. Bye, Jade. I hope you had a good day at school.
Mm. All right. What's up, Denny? This is my friend Denny. They named a restaurant after this guy. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, this, yeah. this actually kind of looks like a, a basic Google image search. Well, De Denny, I hope this is you. Uh, I'm going to tear you in half, and then I'm going to put you in my mouth. I'm Danny. Look who it is. Lil Sean is back. Lil Sean's back for another round. He's still a little artist, and at this point, I think it's safe to say he's full of himself. Back in the steak sauce, he goes. Remember, if you want me to eat your face, which of course you do, you no fucking narcissist. Comment, hashtag eat me, and then I pull a sauce and go, and I eat you for Christmas. Or Hanukkah. It was the first day of Hanukkah. They loved 2017. I'm gonna need you to log the fuck out, friend. <laughs> Please log out. We have no business with you here. Up here we've got Bria. Bria's feeling festive. She's literally covered in lights, which I think is a bit much, and I have a tree on my head. So into the sriracha you go, Bria. Happy holidays, Bria. Wish you the best. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, we've got a young man by the name of Dylan. Lot going on with Dylan. Some interesting facial hair. He seems to be pretty confident given the fact that his name is Dylan and that's his facial hair. But he's got a thrasher shirt, and so for that, nothing but respect, my friend. Ah. All right. Into the mayo you go, my dude. Because you seem like a compulsive masturbator. Jay says, this is the best Christmas present I've gotten in my entire life. <laughs> That's extremely sad. Although once I got my grandma's ashes in a necklace for Christmas, and that was a bad year. All right, up next, we've got Maria. Maria looks like a young professional who should be at work right now. Uh, but, but we appreciate your participation, Maria. Thanks for being here. Hope you're having a lovely holiday season. And get back to work for crying out loud. I'm going to put you in a little bit of breakfast syrup. That's how you know I like them. I put them in something sweet, something nice. Now I put them in my mouth and give them a new home. Remember to keep commenting, hashtag eat me. It would be my fucking pleasure to put your face directly in my mouth. So up next, we've got, we've got another cool guy. We've got another thinker, another brooder, another guy who probably has green text. His name's Matthew. He's against some sort of painted wall of some sort. I'm wishing him the best at this time of year, uh, but I do have to rip him in half and put him in my mouth. Art boys have this like crazy aftertaste. 
Maddie Marshall says, this shit's gnarly, but I can't look away. A metaphor for the year we have all had. Up next, a person with the name of a month. It's November. Uh, she's sucking on her finger. November is trying to send some sort of seductive message to us. And I say, received, friend. a good holiday movie guys said Jeff Sherl. Thanks Jeff Sherl. Your last name sounds fake as hell. Coming up next is one of my favorite profile pic trends which is uh, too insecure to have a picture of yourself on the world wide web. In place we've got a cute little Ricardo. God knows what he looks like but we have to assume it's a disaster. We're going to put him in some cocktail sauce, my little shrimpy friend. Mm. It's rice paper and it's totally edible, says someone. You know what I have to say to that? Fuck right off. Oh, thank you. All right, up next, we got... One of my favorites, we've got dog instead of person. You know when someone's like, I don't have a personality, so instead, I'm just gonna force my pet onto people. That's Caitlin's vibe, and so I'd like to punish her by consuming her dumb dog whole. Remember to keep Submitting your embarrassing pictures of your dumb dogs and cartoons because you can't handle things with Eat Me. Yeah, yeah. All right, coming up next, either someone is a child or someone has a child. It's Austin. There's underage people in this pick, Austin. You better not be getting us in trouble. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Maddie Trimble likes to think these are printed on kale, and Maddie Trimble is dead fucking wrong. Oh, we have a good one. This is my my dear friend Cash Monet. I think I I think I've got the pronunciation right. Cash Monet. We went to high school together. She's also feeling very festive on this day. And so in celebration of Cash Monet and my beautiful friendship that will never die, I like to dip her in some mustard. Eric Escobar says the best poops are coming my way. Uh, DM me, I'll get back to you about my poops. All right. Coming up next, we've got someone who decided that Snapchat belongs on Facebook. This is Elijah, and he's a man who wants to be a dog. The story of Elijah is very sad. He's been spending the better part of this year trying to become a dog, but unfortunately, he remains a man with a Snapchat account. Here's to you, Elijah. Into the syrup you go. All right, up next, we've got someone named after a virtue. It's called chastity. And I'm going to say I don't think she's a virgin. I think that that, yeah, that goes out to you, chastity. Uh, congratulations on being on whatever this is. And now you got to go into my body.
everyone whose face I'm meeting today will be joining the 7-Eleven waffle sandwich I have for breakfast. So, welcome to the family. Got an art girl here. We've got little Erin. She went to a field one time and she needs us to know. Okay, Erin, we're glad that you went to Montana, or we're glad that you went to a field and you, and you have a front facing camera. We're thrilled for you. I'm gonna put you in steak sauce. Oh, Elijah the dog boy. Elijah the dog boy. But he's never been so satisfied. Well, thanks, Elijah. I look forward to shitting you out later. Ah. All right, gang. That's it for pictures. We're moving on. I tire of this charade. Coming up next, I, the sinister sound cue that means I have to keep moving. This is actually my fire alarm. There's a fire going on in my house elsewhere. We don't need to deal with it. Now, I would like to know the worst thing that happened to you in 2017. So comment below with hashtag worst thing 2017 with your least fave thing that happened this year. There's plenty to pick from. If you can't think of something, again, I have to encourage you to walk into traffic. And I will completely eat your feelings. It'll be wonderful. And then, uh, and then we've got a big finish planned, okay? All right, let's get started. All right, so uh, Philip Byers' feelings on this year. Zero new Kanye albums, one new Taylor album. Counts as negative one Kanye album. Hashtag worst part of 2017. Hot take, baby. It's gotta go. Don't you have a Pitchfork article you should be reading? Jesus Christ. All right, coming up next, Brambus says, my prized stallion ate too much milk and passed away. I'd actually like to take a moment of silence for this one, because this one makes me very sad and connects me to my own youth of many dead horses under mysterious dairy-related circumstances. Pouring one out for you tonight, Brambus, and I'm gonna dip you in some rice vinegar. Here's looking at you, Brambus. All right, we've got one Alan Wagner here saying that capitalism still stands. Hashtag worst part of 2017. I've got nothing to say about that because this is truly the saddest uh, day of all time. Anyone watching those Alabama polls? No, you're telling me what to put in my mouth. We are the problem. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we got Katie Barger. She said, Jersey Shore reboot, hashtag worst of 2017. I hope that means it's because you were very on board with the first Jersey Shore and that the thought of a replacement makes you sick to your stomach. All right, Katie. All right. Coming up next, we've got Stay DHD saying indifferences in the justice system, followed by a fun declarative, LMFAO, one of our my favorite bands. Uh, inefficiencies in the justice system, absolutely true. Good on you, Stay DHD. And so I'm going to put you in my favorite dipping of all, the ranch.
right, remember to keep commenting hashtag worst thing 2017 with your least favorite shit of the year. Up next, we got Rich Porter who said, my baby left me, hashtag worst things 2017. Also turned out to be hashtag best thing 2017. Now we have to assume that Rich Porter is talking about his actual infant baby that got up and left him because she found him to be lacking in some way. But it turns out it was for the best for everybody. Good for you, Rich. Coming up next, we've got Scapegoat, who says the worst part of 2017 was the Tom Cruise mummy. Completely on board. Brendan Fraser for fucking ever. He's a classic. Give the man work. He deserves it. Brendan Fraser Club, activate. All right, Tom Cruise, eat my ass. You go in the ranch. This is a fun non-denominational activity, right? Mm. All right, we've got Connor Kurth, who says, flaws in the checks and balances system, frowny face, worst thing 2017. Now, based on your profile picture, Connor, I have to assume you've written many medium.com pieces about just this. Congrats, you gotta go. All right, we've got Maybe Willis here, who says her worst part of 2017 was One Direction getting solo careers. Safe to say, Maybe Willis lives an extremely sheltered life. Remember to keep telling us what your worst thing that happened to you in 2017, please get personal, please get specific in the comments below. I wanted some really devastating novellas. All right, we've got Greg Ricketts here who's putting his face to some serious regret. He says the worst thing that happened to him in 2017 was getting married, sweaty guy emoji. Gar Greg, I hope your wife is watching and that she leaves you immediately and returns whatever uh, embarrassing craft brewery gift you're forcing her to buy you for the holidays. Fuck off, Greg. All right, we've got a three-namer gang. We've got Luis Fernando Michaels, and he says the worst part of 2017 was peed my pants while in university. <laughs> That's pretty bad, and we have a full-on cartoon villain for president, but this is pretty bad. Look at this poor, imagine this guy peeing in class. It's sad. Sorry, Luis. We've all had a rough year. But it's gone now. It's all gone. All right, we've got Stephanie Ariola up next. A banger of a last name. And the worst thing that happened to her in 2017 was that her 17-year-old dog died sad crying emoji my heart stephanie let's rewind to your last name which is areola uh 
I'm interested in a possible trade. If you're interested in a boring two-syllable Irish last name, you can have mine. It's Loftus. I would kill to be Jamie Ariola. Sorry about your dog, but there's just simply more important things going on. Jamie Ariola, a human woman interested in connecting. All right, who's next? Next, we've got Aaron Grimm, who says, the worst thing that happened in 2017 was my cat had to get a bunch of pieces of yoga mat removed from her stomach. We've all been there. Uh, listen, I'm, yeah, I've had to get a lot of stuff pumped from my stomach, all of them exercise equipment related. Uh, don't be embarrassed. It'll happen again next year anyways. I'm saying with the worst thing that happened to you in 2017, with hashtag worst things 2017 with your least fave thing and then I'll put it in my body and shit it out later. Yeah. DM me for pics. Ah. All right, now we've got Riley Kruger who says he dislocated his shoulder and I'm now addicted to painkillers. Wow, this is actually a serious systemic issue that the government probably won't address because we're actively living in hell. Sorry about it, Riley, you're stuck with it for life, but for now, a little bit of relief. That is vinegar, that is not wine. That is vinegar. All right, Demetar, Todorov says the worst thing from 2017 was people believe that the earth is fucking flat. Well, Demetar Todorov, I've got a 45 minute speech that I think will really change your mind. Keep commenting with the worst thing from 2017. Hashtag worst thing 2017. Gang, I'm starting to really feel it. Please don't remember. No, please remember. I'm going to black out. Please uh, remember the sacrifices I've made here today. I can smell the bodies of my parents upstairs. And we're running out of paper. Up next is Wendy Quinlan, who says the worst thing from 2017 is losing her heart. Well... You're a dog, so chances are you weren't going to live much longer anyways. Sorry, Wendy. All right, we've got Maddie Trimble rolling in saying that Malik never loved her. Maddie, here's the thing. Malik never deserved you. You gave Malik all you had, and he couldn't give it back. He's a dweeb, and with time you'll learn that he was never worth it. Goodbye, Malik. Power to you, my friend. Whoop. Scott Strong wants Maddie to know she got chose, but where is Malik? That's what we've always been asking. I've had quite enough of all of you, and so I'd like to actually move forward and not have to look at anyone's face anymore. So, without further ado, I'd like to bring out uh, one of my favorite 
uh, villains of 2017. Maybe you've heard of them. Maybe you've heard of Harvey Weinstein. I'd like to systematically destroy him right now. If we could bring out Harv. Where's Harv? Here's Harv. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Wow, we've got the real severed head of Harv here. How, how's, uh, how are you, Harv? He's dead. There's simply nothing he can say. This is some fun fan fiction. I like this. Okay, so now uh, we're going to eat Harvey Weinstein, and I just need a little bit of instruction on how you'd like me to eat this villain's head. Uh, so where shall we start? Uh... Oh, Harv, you know what that means. It's time for us to cut your head open. All right, so the first question today is, what part of Harvey's head should I eat first? We've got his nose, it's a big one. We've got his eyeballs, they're bloodshot. We've got his ears, they can't hear uh, anymore. Ooh, geez, and they're floppy. Uh, so vote now in the comments and we'll, let's saw a part of this man's face off. This is what I was born to do. Dismember men slowly while the world watches. All right. What do we get? His eyeballs. Okay, we're gonna eat Harv's eyeballs. Uh, all right. It's too bad we can't watch Chicago 2002 anymore because of this. What utensil should I use to eat Harvey's eyes out? Should I use a toothpick? Should I use my little hand claws? Or should I use a pair of scissors? You got 20 seconds to decide. I'm very hungry for the eyeballs of villains, so please choose wisely. Look at he's got uh, he's got little soulless pupils in there. How you doing, pal? Wow. Yeah. All right, what did you pick? My hands. Oh, thank you so much. This is a Christmas present to me. All right, I'm gonna pick out little Harv's eyeballs using only my hands. Here's the righty. Let's hope this is the good one. <clears throat> All right, Harv. Tough fucking luck. Fortunately, I really said flesh is delicious. Someone's recommending I cut 666 into his forehead. We'll get there. Easy does it. We really want to savor this experience. We're going into the left eye now. Let me just say, we should all be eating the heads of men. This is un unbelievable. And look, we've got a little... We've got a little eyeball action going in here. A little bit of saw action. What's up, Harv? All right, what should I eat next? The man has no eyes. Should we eat the schnoz? Should we eat his thin little disgusting lips? Or should we rip his ears off? What do you think? It's all gonna happen. You just have to decide the order. I take personal issue to his lips being called luscious because as you can see, they're extremely thin and fortunately now completely dead. So, all right, what did you guys pick? You didn't pick his luscious lippies, you chose his nose. All right, so how, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna rip Harv's nose off and put it directly in my mouth? Because personally, I enjoyed the hands and his eyes taste like vanilla, but it's honestly not my call. I wonder how that guy, uh, the dog guy was doing. Where's he at? How should I eat this guy's nose? Should I do it with a little twist? Should I do it with a little lick? Or should I do it with a little squish? I'm not sure what those instructions mean, but I'll make it work. It sounds like bop it instructions. All right, 
How do you want me to get Harvey's nose off? Personally, I just want to like chomp down hard and rip. He also, if you can see, he's got some serious blackheads. And I mean, like normally I wouldn't shame someone for that, but like, you know, his skin's terrible. All right, looks like I've got to remove Harvey's nose with a twist. And I guess the interpretation of that's up to me. So, uh, so I think what I'm going to do is do a direct facial plant onto Harvey. So, uh, if, if there's children watching, please bring them in the room. <laughs> oh. Now we've got to spice this nose up because there's a lot of stuff in here. What kind of sauce should I dip it in? We've got ketchup, we've got hot sauce, we've got a cream-based sauce. There's already a lot going on in the interior of the nose. So uh, what should we add to the mix? Look at this poor guy. It's almost like he shouldn't have done all those crimes. We voted for cream. Fortunately, I've got some cream on hand. So we're just gonna cream it up. Harvey's got a little cream on him. He's in trouble. What do we do? All right. Poor Harv. He's a little bit humiliated right now. He's in a bad way. I say we finish him off. You know when your eyes and nose are removed and then you got cum on your face? Tough day for Harv. <laughs> Someone says, why is this so fun to watch? Oh, I don't know, because it's fun to dismember villains. It's good. Why is there a cross on Harvey's face, someone asked. That's the opposite of holy. I don't know. He's, a, he's the devil. All right. What part of Harvey's head should I eat next? Should I eat his beard? Should I eat? I don't know why we are calling his lips luscious. Or should we eat those cute little cheeks of his? They are covered in cystic acne he's adorable we've gotta kill him i let's for the sake of argument let's say he can feel everything so you might want to maybe just like go with what's the most painful like what are you most afraid of let's do it to this terrible man all right people are going for incredibly luscious lips of harp even though as you can see they look like Two discarded pieces of salami. Uh, so we'll get, and it's surrounded by this little, this little dry cum beard he's got. Uh, so, I don't know. I mean, I might, I might have to give him a little kiss. Okay, how am I going to do it? Am I gonna give his luscious lips a little pokey? Or am I gonna give him a little slurp? Or am I gonna give him a little kiss? Please don't punish me. I've done nothing except exactly what you've told me the whole time. How am I going to slurp a lip? He smells like a foot. Oop! Looks like I've got to slurp this man's lip off. Sure. Alright, well I'm going to... I'm gonna take a little, I gotta lube up the lip situation here. And uh, there's no better way to do so than with my personal fave condiment, the mayo. So we're gonna gloss it up a little bit here. Maybe you've seen Turnt Beauty on this exact network. This is basically that. Okay, so now that we've got his li lips all lubed up, I'm just gonna slurp them right off. Oh, 
carve, you taste like hot flaming garbage. Let me help. It's not real till you hit the blood, you know? All right. Well, I think that settles that. It's crazy how many bad men there are to choose from this year. This is our least favorite. But honestly, the power rankings, people will be debating for years who deserves to die the most. But I can vouch for this one. He's fucking delicious. You'll notice we've hit exactly no brains in the time that we've started. Oh, okay, we're eating the next part of the head. What part should I eat next? Are we gonna go with the ears? Are we gonna go with those hot brows? Are we gonna go with the inner flesh? So inner flesh sounds like a bad sci-fi movie, but it also could be something I could do to this man's head. Uh, so you decide. Just so you know, he can still feel all of this. We have the screaming. Oh, we're eating the inner flesh. Okay. So, where to begin? All right, Harv. Let's search for Harv's tiny little brain. Is his brain smaller than his penis, or is neither of them existing in the first place? Taylor V. Perry says she's calling the police. Who wants to save Harvey? Come on, narc. What kind of sauce do I put on this flesh? Should I put on creamy ranch, which would be my pleasure, sprinkles, or this thing that looks like wine, but I can assure you is vinegar and is actively eroding at the inside of my mouth. Up to you. Look at we've got some pink stuff in here, but I can't we can't assume it's brains. We have to assume that it's evil thoughts and trash. Yeah. All right, looks like we're gonna oh we're good, we're having fun with this one. Okay, let's get a little bit of Harv's head out. And then we're gonna put some sprinkles on it. Claudette Nicole thinks she found God. That was not the point of 2017. Please reevaluate. Okay. All right, so we've got some guts here. I'm gonna put some sprinkles on it. This is nice. This tastes like all the shitty movies Harvey Weinstein wanted to pitch with Matt Damon in a featured role. Mindy Horton says, is that red velvet cake? No, bitch, it's a man! Sorry, Mindy. So nasty, says Harriet Watson. Grow up, says Jamie Loftus. Or as I go by now, Jamie Ariola. All right. Let's just throw some sprinkles in there for safe. Nice, hot, wet, no brains. Should I feed Harvey to the chef? Okay or no thank you. This is, you know, this is a lose-lose for everyone involved, so I'll leave this one to you. I won't try to influence anything. I think personally we should all take a, we should all take a bite out of a bad man. We've earned it. It's been a long year. Uh, we deserve to, to kill and maim, uh, and, and we deserve a delicious snack at the end of the day. So, what do you think? All right, you voted, okay. All right, where's the chef? Where's the chef? I'd like to, uh... hello? Hi, uh, sorry, I wasn't aware there was someone else in my home, but thanks for, so I have a severed man's head. Would you like a little piece? Yeah, come here, come here. Come here, I'm extremely clean and I've committed no crimes, okay? Here you go. What do you think? It's good, it's good. David says this is creepy, he's wrong. I 
think this is a nice way to break bread with your friends, okay? Yeah. Now, don't tell anybody this happened or I will have to kill you before the police arrive. But thanks for stopping by. Scott Strong says, is that producer Jake? No, Scott Strong, we're in my home in Vermont. Look at this guy. There, this looks like there's one large white head on the side of his mouth that a uh, braver woman would just pop. But not me, I'm a coward. Ulysses says, disgusting. I say, shut up. Frankie Mallon says, can Chef be my Christmas present? I don't know, I think he's, I think I've gotta kill him before the night's over, so you'd have to hurry over, you know? <laughs> Sorry, that's just the policy. That's my end of year policy. Everyone must go. All right, up next, who sh uh, what part of Harv's head should I eat? Should we take his little hairy puby beard down here? Should we get his concerned forehead because he might go to jail? Or should we eat his uh, his chin? Who's writing the manly chin? If, if by manly you mean I don't like it and I feel uncomfortable around it, sure, manly, interesting adverb choice. All right, so what part should I eat next? He's falling apart here. People want me to eat Harv's hot, hot forehead. So what we're gonna have to do this time, I guess is a bit of a lobotomy situation. This is what I like to call a code Rosemary Kennedy. We've gotta get a lobotomy going. So how should we go about this? What's the best way to, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life and then it comes and, and I'm not ready. Angel LaBoy says essentially lick his entire face and I just want to remind you this is a live murder this is not a sex thing all right this is this is strictly for murder fans and not for sex heads sorry Angel LaBoy hard pass Rich Porter says who's chef pay attention to me what's going on this isn't fair oh one of his ears just sort of fell off independently you know, like sometimes the body just decides, I'm done, I'm good. All right. Harv, let's see if we can get your ear. I want you to hear all the mean things everybody say. Cheyenne Sky says, people in Vermont get weird this time of year. I know, did Ben and Jerry, those disgusting little perverts, they're just like masturbating outside my house all day. Vermont's a nightmare. <laughs> Anyways. All right, let's get, let's get this guy's forehead off. I'm just gonna give them a little, a little. They did this in the 1950s so that women would stop thinking. Wow. I know. All right. Ugh. Should we put ears? Should we put Harvey's ears on my ears? That's the next decision we have to make. I mean, we all know the answer, but it is worth an ask. All right. Harv's forehead. He's so worried. He's like, what if I get in trouble? Fuck you. In a shocking vote, you voted to put Harvey Weinstein's ears on me, Jamie Ariola's ears. And it would be my fucking pleasure. We've already got one pre-ripped. That's right, Jamie Ariola is a woman who exists. All right, let's see if I can get a bobby pin going. Virgo Moon has a crush on me. He says, you're so witty and funny, are you taken? I'm, leave me alone, I'm in hiding. All right, let's get this next one done. Jenny Martinez smelled a tradition coming. Well, you know what I smell? Several decaying bodies in my home. So, at least we're all enjoying ourselves. Here's Harv's other ear. I'm flipping it. Charles DeViller says, Jamie Loftus for presidential assassin. Honestly, I've never been more honored in my life. It would be, I mean, I'd need to, I would want to get a harpoon gun. That's, that would be my pre, that would be my prep. Anyways, how's this? I can now hear all of Harvey's evil thoughts. What did he say? All right. 
So what sauce should I be putting on my ears? Should I be putting cocktail sauce? Should I be putting Caesar dressing on my ears? Should I be putting sriracha on my ears? This is an interesting question. I mean, either way, we all win. Harvey, I, I do, I will say his head is still pulsing, just actively pulsing. We're trying to keep him alive as long as possible so that he can feel as much pain as we possibly can get him to feel. So what sauce should we put on the ears was the question. People are, you little trendsters, we're putting sriracha on the ears. All right, I've got it all whipped up here. Hopefully, all right. This is nice. This is basically a spa treatment for your insides and your outsides. Now in Vermont, we don't eat a lot of spicy. We mostly just eat uh, what, you know, whatever perverted concoction named after a late night host Ben and Jerry's puts in our mouth. So, I don't know. Oh, shit. Uh, should Jamie Ariola eat her own ears? She's already taken a, a little snack. And I don't like spicy food. I don't like sriracha sauce. I don't get the hype. This is a painful experience for me. And just like that, everyone's saying do it. Listen, at least I got the name change I've been fighting for all 2017 today. Jamie Ariola deserves to live. Jamie Ariola owns 2018. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so Jamie Ariola ate her own ears. All right, good, nice, get a nice close shot of me so you see how I'm sweating. And we're gonna do a nice little, I can't handle it, I don't know. All right, got another guy here. Okay. I'm gonna take the edge off by dipping it in ranch. You didn't give me permission, but I, you know. There it goes the ears. Javier Martinez says, bloody, disgusting, beautiful. Also reviews of my one woman show. Amazing. Mm. What do we, ooh, this is one of my faves. If you don't mind, I'm gonna actually spit these ears back into Harvey's face. A little present for him. So what should we fill Harvey's brains with? We've already given him a lobotomy. We've got dog food, or as we like to say, dog's food. Uh, we've got ranch dressing, and we've got Doritos. Now, I think you all know what the answer is, but just for a little preview, we're just gonna be ripping, ripping right into here. You can see this little dog turd I left in his mouth, um, and filling it right up. All right, it's looking like dog food. Fortunately, I brought one of my favorite types of dog food. We're going wet. We're not doing dry food. We're not amateurs. This is an amateur hour. So we're gonna fill Harvey's head. Let's hollow it out a little bit. And just give it a nice, yeah. Oh, we, we hit the chunks. We have hit the chunks. All right, so this is wet dog food. Fun fact about wet dog food Really, the only ingredients are gravy and bones. Wow. Next, we want, uh, you tell me what utensil should I be eating this dog food with? I've got a straw, I've got a knife, I've got a pizza cutter. I've got all sorts of options uh, to eat this little. Honestly, if you're poor, you can eat dog food. It's Fine. It's it's just like uncooked stew that wasn't meant for human consumption. Pizza cutter is the decision. So this is this is great. This is practical. All right. 
Here we go. Do a little scoop. Let's get a little bit of harv in there. Joanna Ferris says you're not eating dog food. Listen, I've been waging this war for a long time. I'm eating fucking dog food, dude. All right. Arath Guzman says, I'm so fucking done. I'm so fucking done. That's why we're doing this. All right. Let's give one more bite. Let's just give it a nice little roll across his face. He's screaming. Yeah. McKenna Fl McFly said, I didn't want her to eat the dog food. Sorry, Harv. You know, Bob Weinstein's just off camera watching and enjoying and wringing his fucking tiny little hands. All right, let's mix this in a little bit. Kevin Jackson's out. See you later, Kevin. Come back for New Year's, dude. Let's, oh, I forgot. I spit up some food earlier and that's in here too. The magic of live theater. Nicholas Walker says, why are you doing this for yourself? Nicholas, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for your children. I'm doing it for everybody. And honestly, you're seeing me a little bit ungrateful right now and that's not very festive, so. Let's just mix them up. All right, Kennedy Wiley wants to know how dog food tastes. As I said, it's a good option if you're in dire straits. That's fine. To my people, dog food is a delicacy. Oh, I lost my ring. All right, that's fine. To my people, dog food is a delicacy, such a waste. Sir, you know, I totally agree with you, but I assure you I will be consuming the entirety of the head and not nothing will go to waste. I've lost jewelry in this man's large head. James Ward says, liberalism is a mental disorder. The proof is in the pudding. Am I becoming part of the freaking problem right now, James? All right, next question. Should we put her chin on his chin? Good way to change the subject. Yes, we want chin or no, don't do. I mean, up to you. I think I've gotten this really sufficiently mixed in. All right, how's everyone doing? I'm not feeling so hot, but you know, and I look down at this shit pile we've created as a group and uh, and I feel a sense of ease. Oh, okay, we want to put Harvey's chin on my chin. Of course we fucking do. Okay, so how are we going to go about this? I've got a pizza cutter here. All right. Heather Mount feels like she's in the biggest sin ever. Heather, change the channel. What are you doing? Oh, no. Heather. Gunner Garza's late. What do you miss? Pretty much nothing. Don't worry. We're just, all right. I've got a knife. Just mm, get Harv's little, his fat little dirty chin on my face. How does this look? Do I look like I have no dignity and would do anything for money? Good. Oh, Jerome's worried I'm going to eat my own ring. Honestly, you're not alone there. I'm just going to give it a good squish. We're good. Oh, God. All right. No, there's the folds between the, twin, the, the chin. There's some residual uh, dried sweat, which adds a nice little salty crunch. Uh, so you might not be able to tell if you're just tuning in, but this was Harvey Weinstein's head. Uh, fortunately, with your help, I've managed to turn it into a, bile, a pile of dog shit, a little bit of my own vomit, and a piece of my jewelry that truly could be anywhere. So. Mm. He's also got thick reptilian skin. Dean says, this is how you get into heaven. 
Buddy, I sure fucking hope so. I've got several dead bodies up in, in the attic, and I would love a free ticket. All right. Liam Rufus wants to know, is this real life? I've spent, you know, I've been spending a while wondering if this is real. This is as real as it gets. This is a pile of rancid, disgusting, problematic male flesh in a pile. This is as real as it gets. Josh Rosensteel says, this is proof of the slow decline of humanity, dot, dot, dot. Oh no, I'm mad until he says, and it is beautiful, LOL. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Rob. Okay, what's next? Put Harvey's head on my head? Yeah or no? <laughs> you decide. I can't, I don't know. I'm losing, I'm slowly losing my vision. I've been, uh, everything's great. I feel great. How does everyone feel? Are we all having a fun time? I'm, I just realized I was fingering Harvey's ear holes involuntarily. I'm losing my mind. This is like you do one finger and then you're like, what about two? <laughs> Wow, he is wow. wet. All right, should I put Harv's head on my head? What do people think? What if you guys said no? That would be horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. How are we? This is extremely heavy. So just for last looks, here's Harv, here's me. He's got a big old fat head. And I've got a sweet little feminine delicate. Anyways, ready? One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How's it look? Oh, yeah. oh fucking yeah. Oh, he's slipping. How are we doing? Okay. You know, I think we're gonna actually skull cap this one. So it's not too, how's this? Is this a look? Is this the 2018 look? Just wear a dead person's skull you didn't like. This is nice. Jerome says 100% yeah. This this weighs about 50 pounds. Uh, so let's, ugh. Let's get it nice and planted. It's nice, we've got the headpiece. Harv's looking festive, we like that. Caped Baldy says, something mean. Spence Abrams says, was it worth it, Jamie? Spence, I'll tell you what, it was extremely fucking worth it. Cape Baby says, regressive evolution found in California. But honestly, where aren't we finding that right now? All right, I think it's, a, oh, this actually feels like kind of nice, like a hair mask. Ethan Proctor says, lizard people. Listen, we're taking care of it. It's the man's dead. All right. All right, gang. I hope that you've all enjoyed your time with me, Jamie Ariola, holiday fun lady. Please do not call the police. Please do not check in on my parents. Please do have a better 2018 although who are we fucking kidding it's gonna be a fucking nightmare disaster so rip off the skull of your favorite man and wear it as a hat happy halloween